Pierre de Bayrule, Kong. Orat, the 4th of February 1575 to the 2nd of October 1629, was a French Catholic priest, cardinal, and statesman, one of the most important mystics of the 17th century in France. He was the founder of the French school of spirituality, who could count among his friends and disciples Vincent de Paul and Francis de Sales. Topic: Life. Topic. Bayrule was born in the Château of Serily, near Troyes in Champagne, into two families of distinguished magistrates on 4 February 1575. The Château de Serily is situated in the modern department of Yonne, while the village adjacent to it, Bayrule, is in Abbey. He was educated by the Jesuits at Clermont and at the Sorbonne in Paris. He published his first work, his Bref Discours de l'Abnegation Interur, in 1597. Soon after his ordination as a priest in 1599, he assisted Cardinal d'Operan in his public controversy with the Protestant Philippe de Mornay, and made numerous converts. With the cooperation of his cousin, Madame Akari the Blessed Marie of the Incarnation, OCD, in 1604 he introduced the Discalced Carmelite nuns of the Reform of Teresa of Avila into France. In 1608, Vincent de Paul moved to Paris, where he came under the influence of Abbé later Cardinal Pierre de Bayrule, whom he took as his spiritual director. De Bayrule was responsible for de Paul taking up an appointment to the parish of Clichy, a mainstay of the Counter Reformation in France. In 1611, Bayrule founded in Paris the Congregation of the French Oratory, on the model of the one founded in 1556 by Saint Philip Neri at Rome. Owing to the differences of time and place, the French congregation varied in some important respects from the Italian Oratory. Whereas in the Italian congregation the houses were independent of one another, de Bayrule placed the government of all the houses in the hands of the superior general. Statesman Bayrule was a chaplain to King Henry IV of France, and several times declined his offers to be made a bishop. He obtained the necessary dispensations from Rome for Henrietta Maria's marriage to Charles I, and acted as her chaplain during the first year of her stay in England. In 1626, as French ambassador to Spain, he concluded the favourable Treaty of Monzon, to which his enemy Cardinal Richelieu found objections. After the reconciliation of King Louis XIII with his mother, Marie de Medici, through his agency, he was appointed a councillor of state, but had to resign this office, owing to his pro-Habsburg policy, which was opposed by Richelieu. For religious reasons, Cardinal Bayrule favoured the allegiance of France with Austria and Spain, the other Catholic powers, while Cardinal Richelieu wanted to undermine their influence in Europe. He was made cardinal by Pope Urban VIII on 30 August 1627, but never received the red hat. Pierre de Bayrule died October 2, 1629 in Paris, while celebrating Mass, and was buried in the chapel of the Oratorian College of Julie. <inaudible> French school of spirituality In the early part of his career, Bayrule was confident of the ability of the individual to both remake society and reform the Church. Relying on human reason and diligent effort, he worked to convert the Huguenots through theological treatises and conferences. When his efforts seemed to have little effect, he came to the realization that everything depended on God, and that one should attempt to live in accordance with the will of God without concern for success or failure. Bayrule is generally regarded as being an initiator of the French school of spirituality, a powerful spiritual, missionary, and reform movement that animated the Church in France in the early 17th century. The movement was characterized by a deep sense of God's grandeur and of the Church as the body of Christ, a certain pessimistic Augustinian view of man that nonetheless stresses positive potential through God, and a strong apostolic and missionary commitment. Bayrule's depiction of the mystical journey through Mary to Christ, and through Christ to the Trinity is a hallmark of the French school of spirituality, the term school is potentially problematic, though, because the other commonly cited members of this school, such as Saint Jean Oud and the Venerable Jean-Jacques Ollier, Saints Louis-Marie Grignon de Montfort and Jean-Baptiste de La Salle, do not simply develop the thought of Bayrule, but all have their own significant insights. The school does not therefore have simply one founder a role Bayrule has sometimes been cast in. 
However, the many common elements among these writers such as an emphasis on living in the spirit of Jesus, particular forms of meditative prayer, a pedagogy institutionalized in particular seminaries and schools, means that it can be considered as a distinct tradition of spirituality. Topic. Philosophy and works Topic. Bayrul encouraged Descartes philosophical studies, and it was through him that the Samaritan Pentateuch, recently brought over from Constantinople, was inserted in Leger's Bible Polyglot Bayrul was an opponent of the abstract school of mysticism that bypassed the humanity of Christ, Pope Urban VIII called him the "...apostle of the incarnate word." Highly influenced by 16th and 17th century deference to monarchs, Barul applied the same principles in the spiritual realm. In his Discours de l. Atat et des grandeurs de Jesus Barul emphasized Jesus as the incarnate word of God, and the abasement, self-surrender, servitude and humiliation—all Barul's words—of his incarnation. He even took the incarnation as the defining characteristic of his spirituality and his oratory, when he asked Christ, that, in this piety, devotion, and special servitude to the mystery of your incarnation and of your humanized divinity and deified humanity, be our life and our state, our spirit and our particular difference. The chief works of Cardinal de Bayrule are Bref Discours de l'Abnegation Intérieure Brief Discourse on Interior Abnegation, 1597. Traité des Energumenes, Treatise on the Possessed, Troyes, 1599, this addresses the nature of diabolical possession, a topic of much controversy at the time. Diabolical possession, Bayrule argued, consists, "...precisely in a right which the malign spirit has of residing in the possessed person's body and of altering it in some manner." At its heart lay the profound diabolical hostility to the Incarnation, such that Satan, through possession, attempts to ape God, becoming Incarnate himself. Trois discours de controverse, three discourses of controversy, Paris, 1609, on various subjects. Discours de l. Atat et des grandeurs de Jesus, discourse on the state and grandeurs of Jesus, Paris, 1623. This work was reprinted several times. The substance and often the actual expressions are to be found in the diffuse meditations of Father Borgoing and also in Bossuet. S. Elevations sur les Mystères. The work was also popular among Jansenists. Vie de Jesus, Life of Jesus, Paris, 1629. This was a sequel to the preceding work, which the author left unfinished at the time of his death, having only had the time to consider the mystery of the Annunciation and partially in a draft the Visitation. Elevation of Jesus Christ sur Saint Madeleine, Elevation to Jesus Christ regarding Saint Mary Magdalene, Paris, 1627. In addition, Bayrule wrote a number of short devotional works and documents for the guidance of the oratory. Bayrule's works, edited by P. Borgoing two vols, 1644, were reprinted, by Migny in 1857. A selected modern English translation is available as Bayrule and the French School, Selected Writings, Trans Lowell M. Glendon, New York, Paulist Press, 1989. References Topic. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Bayrule, Pierre de. Encyclopædia Britannica, 3 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Jean-Pierre Papon, Dictionnaire. Pierre de Bayrule. In French.